There lived in a certain place a Brahman whose name was Isbabhabak Ripana, which means a born miser. Today is another day. Another day to make a living. Soon you'll be full enough to let me get through days or even weeks. It's so hot in the Philippines. Yes. You're right, girl. And your oh, internet connection wait, wait, is also have you bad. Seen my IG no, I haven't. I haven't posted girl, an update since so I got here. here. No, I haven't seen it. Your connection is so bad. Oh my god, this good news. Okay. Uh, good news. Yeah? Uh, I'm, I'm really hungry. Um, do you have any food to eat? I, I don't have food to eat. I'm really, really hungry. Do you, do you not take pity on, on a poor beggar like me? Um, oh can you have food, please? Wait, wait. Girl, we, uh, we don't have this in France. But anyway... Do you have food? In yeah, your bag? wait, wait. <clears throat> I actually don't you have, have much, please. but allow me to give food, you this. Please. Thank this. You, you can you have this. Much. And also, you can have this one as well. Thank oh, you. make wait, use of girl. it. I think I have you some have food in my bag. Alright, allow me to see it. Alright. Thank you so much, Mom. Thank you so much. Oh, here. Thank you. Thank you. Here. Is there thank enough? you so much. God, God bless you both. Thank yeah, you. Um, thank okay. you. I hope you can get through the day. Yeah. She had collected a quantity of rice and foods by begging, and after having dined off it, she filled a pot with what was left over. I've been here all day, and my farm is still empty. My stomach has been growling. Where can I find anything to eat? Mm. Haven't you eaten anything yet? This is very hard. Oh, this situation continues. I might starve to death. If I'm not wishing for that, here. Oh. Eat. For you. Mm. Let's share it. You haven't eaten yet? You're right. Yes, but if you're hungry, then you can have it. No. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, this is good. Mm, smells good. You can taste it. find this. The lady there. Forgive me. Mm. Tell me. Right? It's been a while since I eaten such a thing. It's not the two talked to each other, passing time while eating the piece of bread that Sabab Hawak offered. As they were talking, the bigger noticed the Babha Wax pot that is already full of goods.
not sure. Filled with grim, huh? You won't be hungry anymore. Do you think how much is that? How much is it? For what? But you know, I, I have these very, very big dreams in the future for myself. You know, um, you know what? What is that? What's my dream? I don't know. Tell me. Tell me. My first dream is to is to buy gold. So I want to I want to have some lots of goat and I will raise them and I will make farm with lots of animals, with different animals. Oh. You know. I want that. You want that? Yes. Oh, maybe we can be a partners in the future. Maybe. Yes. And I also want um, it's this again, cow. Cow. Yes, I want cow because After I want cow. Yes, yes, it's a big. It's very big, right? I mean, yeah. Yes, I want that. And also, I want um buffalo. Yes, I want buffalo. buffalo. It's very yummy, you know. Have you even what? <laughs> buffalo. Look, look. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um is that again? Horse! Horse! I want the horse! I want to ride the horse around the, the place, around the farm. Yes. Oh. And we want the farm yes. to with this. Yes, mm -hmm. we want. And I also lots of like ducks, chicken, pig. Oh my god, oh. that's my dream. <laughs> and also um, I want also to have a family, of course. Mm, and too, of course. Yes, and you know what? I will have a very beautiful family in the future whom I will take in care of. And also, I want um, this a child, child. maybe boy or girl? Um, boy? Boy? I guess boy. Yes, I want him to take care of the farm in the future, so mm. I will not let my hands <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, I and also um yeah <laughs> when i grow i when he grows up sorry oh my god when he grows up he will taking care of the farm but because he, he is very you know he he's like a, a kid and <laughs> like go around the farm and then yeah I will get mad at him because she was, she was just like a kid and he will go there in the farm without By the way, permission. You said you want son. Yes, but but you want to be yes. Yeah. But but when when he's I know he's like oh my god <laughs> twenty years old like that. But when he's younger or like ten years old, he's not allowed in the farm, of course. Oh my god. And what, then, is he, what is his name? Yes, I will get mad at him. Yeah, you know? I go. And I will call my husband. Why? I will get mad at him because he, he let our son like go there in, in the farm and I will kick him like while she thought this, she gave a kick with his foot and accidentally broke the pot. All the goods scattered onto the floor, causing shock to drew all over her face. The big garden for say, She who make foolish plans in the future will lose everything she has in the present. Just like the mother of Marsaman. <laughs> Hello, I am Crystal Jen Emotibay and this is the things I've learned from the story, The Broken Pot. So, uh, we all know that life is really or has a lot of struggles and we as a, as a, um, as a human, we need to cope up all those challenges and we all know that there's a lot of struggles that we need to experience in this world and in this lifetime and all we need to do is to um to be strong and you know um these experiences or these such experiences will uh will make us stronger day by day and yeah we need to continue on living and trusting the faith that god had been given to us and yeah I guess that's all and yeah um in 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 a very or to summarize my my um my 
the things I've learned from the story, you know, um, yeah, we need to be strong every day. And yes, that's all. Thank you. Greetings, everyone. My name is Shaira Mila. Yeah. And the story of Broken Pot is about uh, Sabab Habab, a beggar who dreamed it, but also clumsy to waste all his assets, uh, her assets, that will make us think if her dream is even possible. The lesson I got from it is that poverty is not the reason for us to give up dreaming. And all we need is hard work. We all like that, like a broken pot. We all have certain flaws and imperfections within ourselves, but these imperfections and flaws makes us very interesting and rewarding. Hello, uh, good, good day everyone. I am Christine V. Boarau. And the moral lesson that I've learned to, to, to the story is Sabab Habak, a situation taught, taught us the most important lesson in life. So despite of the difficulties uh, she was facing every day, she still have enough courage and determination to dream big and be positive, be positive in any way she can. Her dedication is something that makes her unique and truly, with that, truly that, nothing is impossible. Hi, this is Trees, and here's what I gained from our short Indian story, The Broken Path. So, while it may not be a bad thing to desire uh, things beyond what we actually have or what we currently have, still we have to consider that things don't always go our way or according to what we have planned. And it's totally okay. Now, while, we, uh, while opportunities don't come often, we shall know how to cherish every chances that we get and to not waste it. Like, um, Sbab Habak, the main character, encompasses a character trait that most of us might be facing at times. Like, we tend to overthink the future, that we end up losing sight of what's present or what's in our present and uh, until it slipped away from our hands. That's all. Good day everyone, I'm Jasmine Suryaga and the lesson that I've learned from the folktale is that it teaches us the importance of being resourceful and finding value in what we have. In the folktale, Sabab Habak doesn't waste the leftover rice and instead uses it to fill the pot. This demonstrates to us the ability to make the most out of our limited resources and not taking it for granted. It also teaches us to be mindful of our actions and to appreciate the value of what uh, we may seem insignificant or left over. In the folk field, I've also learned that by being uh, resourceful, we can make a positive impact and create a meaningful out of a seemingly small and ordinary things. So that's all. Thank you.